Jim, uh, stay with us. Join us now, Jeff Taylor, co-founder and managing director uh, of Digital Risk. Um, you know what, when you agreed to come on, on the second, uh, uh, on the first trading day of the year, you know you're going to get the big questions, Jeff. Are you, can you handle them? What's going to happen do my this best. year? What do you, what's going to happen this year, do you think? Well, I look at the housing market this year, and I think we're set up for a fantastic year. I think we're going to look at about a $2 trillion residential market. Uh, market. I think interest rates are going to stay around 3.5. And I think we're going to see two trends that are really going to shape the housing market going forward. First, the millennials are finally going to be dominating the purchase market in the resi market. So they're going to account for about 50 percent of the new home purchases, home purchases this year. And that's an age range in the low age of 30 up to about 40. So they're finally getting out of the cities, not renting, moving into the suburbs and really going to be dominating that market. Secondly, looking for the home builders to have a fantastic year. Uh, and right now, the home builders sentiment confidence is at an all time high since 1999 at 76%, up five, five points since last month. And they have the millennials coming into the market, that's new home construction. Then they also have the effect of the baby boomers who are looking to downsize in the more planned communities, retirement communities, that's new construction also. So they're looking, they're set to have a fantastic year. So the, the, the millennials are finally getting to that age, obviously, but the way that they, uh, you know, manifest getting to that age with purchases, you sure it goes to the burbs or, or don't they stay urban? I mean, are we do they definitely do everything the same as prior generations or won't there be some significant differences from, from what we know already? So what, I agree with you. If, you. if we look at a price point perspective, is right now what they can really afford to buy with low, the increasing low interest rate is they can buy in the burbs and they were kind of looking at that 1800 to 2000 square foot house plus there's a new dynamic that was here 20 years ago that flexibility to work from home where you can telecommute three five days a week that's allowing them to have the jobs the lifestyles that they want live in the burbs still have the, the upside of a great house that's something they can afford so that's really the dy dynamic that's kind of driving them back out into the burbs with the flexibility and the life that they're looking for. Okay, so then that, uh, that's, that's one trend to look at. Do, do, can you regionally tell us what's, what's strong, what, what's going to be weak, where there's oversupply, uh, where there's you know, maybe high-end uh, inventory but no low-end inventory? These are all the things that we heard about all last year. Yeah, so I think I'll start nationally. I think this is going to be the tightest inventory year in the last five years for some of the reasons that we just we just talked about right now. I think you're actually going to see nationally bidding wars. So what I mean by that is for every offer that's made in 2020, I'm looking for three, uh, about 30 percent of those to be contested in a bidding war compared to 2019, where you had one in 10 that was in that dynamic. Uh, regionally, obviously, real estate's very, it's very uh, location driven, right? So I think you're seeing a lot of people still come to the South, Charlotte, Charleston. Those are going to be hot areas, uh, areas like Florida. Um, where you're going to have a little bit of maybe oversupply, some of the higher end market called that three to five million. Um, I live in Miami, Florida. We're still seeing that sort of soft uh, right now, and maybe uh, that'd be a little bit soft. All right, Jeff. Thank you. Uh, uh, quick question: Go is, ahead, Is this Jim? dependent yeah. on rate sure. rates as well? What happens if we do start to see a little bit of inflation? Long end rates shoot higher, and mortgage rates go higher. Does that interfere with your thesis? Is your, is your thesis strong enough to outweigh that? No, I think my thesis is very strong because right now I don't see, even if the 10-year rallies over, over two, which is going to be highly unlikely, I still think that you're going to see it from a mortgage perspective. You're still going to see in that 3.5 to 3.8, which is about a point less than it was this time a year ago. So I think you're going to have a very, very strong housing market throughout 2020. Not to mention that the first half of this year, there were so many people that wanted to refinance loans where there just wasn't enough capacity in the system for the banks and the lenders to actually refinance those loans. That You've got a lot of bent up demand going through at least the first half of this year to, uh, to create a very strong and fluid market.